the possession of the day. Left to right they go. Their road uniforms are the black pants, white jerseys, black helmets. Chad Harnish turns, gives to Chad Span. Span broke a tackle, 40, 45, 50. He's gone. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. 71. Oh, well, we saw this last year with Chad Spann. Great open field speed. We talked about our open man. I asked you if he was the guy that was running all over him last year. And you said, yes, he was. And he showed there. Once he got to the edge, it was kind of bottled up. They just ran the power to the right. Eastern really committed their linebackers and safeties up. And once he was able to pop through that initial wave, there was no one there. And Ryan Downer was not going to catch the speedy 28, Chad Spann. All max selection a year ago. Rushed for 1,000. Gillette under center. Trips to his left. A solo receiver to his right, Priest alone setback, Ben Thayer, the senior, comes in motion. Left to right now, back to the near side. And play action, and Gillette fumbled it, and it's picked up by Northern Illinois. Hovering over it, Sean Progar, the redshirt sophomore from Glenview, Illinois. And I tell you what, Sean Progar has got a touchdown. Yes. Progar, if he doesn't, but he kind of goes to a knee to grab the ball, and there's no eagles around. There's three white shirts. He's you know gonna, what, I'm okay with that. A defensive lineman, a hash northern illinois left to right harnish out of the pistol he turns and he gives ricky Kreider left side and he could be gone and he is touchdown ricky Kreider, northern illinois three possessions two touchdowns both on the ground and that, that's that's butt whooping there there's no green shirts they're just getting body white shirts on green shirts no one's coming off and they Kreider just turns the corner untouched i mean he just goes down his mat you could run is you start to have to throw the football a little bit. You don't want to have to do that if you're Eastern. You want to rely on your running game, and they oh, give it to Dwayne Priest, who's just by Jake Hoffman. And they're just, and they're just crashing right their ends. You don't block the end in that play, but they're just crashing Kaufman. He's coming down they're just right down the, the line. Player. But they do that. You have to be able to. Getting it. That's making it work. Harnish out of the gun. Ball between the hashes at the EMU 44. Inside give to a man in motion, and then a Uh-oh. reverse. Left side, Nathan Palmer down the left sideline, cuts it inside, hits it at 25, and then he's tackled by Willie Williams Palmer at the 21-yard line of EMU. And if it was for Arrington Hicks, we do a nice job of, of coming all the way from the weak side and mm-hmm. fighting off a block. That's going to be a touchdown because you can see it developing. Eastern over-pursued a little bit to the ball side. The orish- Chad span the tailback. Harnish turns and gives it to him, and he goes untouched, hurtling his way in for six more. You don't see that much from a three-yard run inside yeah, the tackles, the not even being touched turn. going in the end zone. Right now I see some green shirts that Ron English is going to have to find a way to motivate, and I think the best way to do that is you have them stand by you and you put a different number in the game. If not going to defensively, because I can't believe Northern's this good. I mean, I, Eastern's played, and Eastern did a good job getting right under their hips, chasing them, and Running it down from behind. Now on second down and 12, Harnish with a good pocket throws underneath, and it's caught by Martel Moore, this team's leading receiver. Oh, carried it like a loaf of bread. He broke a tackle and got the first down. Got to the Eastern Michigan 47-yard line. Broke free from the original tackle right there for Eastern Michigan. It was Stevie Brown. Spun away from him. And then uh, well, Mark Will- yeah, and, and Willie Williams misses the tackle. And Arrington Hicks has a chance as well. He cried her in now for Span on a first and 10. Ball the 18 of EMU. Right to left goes Northern Illinois. They lead it 20-3. to three. Harnish wants to throw. He'll loft for the corner and making an adjustment. And is he in? He is. Touchdown, Willie Clark. No, they're just that was a back shoulder throw hey, against Arrington Hicks. And it Arrington was beautifully Hicks has thrown. Struggled, you know, with his ball skills and the ball's in the air. He's never been one that's been beaten badly as far as being out of position. It's just when in position, he can't make the play. 7-3, 440 to go in the half. Chandler Harnish out of the gun. Ricky Kreider to his right shoulder. Two wide receivers to the left and now three to the right. Harnish looks right, now throws left. Looking for Clark. Clark's got it. And as he inbounds for a touchdown, yes he is. His second of the afternoon. He just ran by Marcel Rose on the go route that time. He absolutely had both feet in. He only needs one. He got both feet tiptoeing in the corner of the end zone. And I'm not sure... One for six against Ball State, 14 to 23 on the year. This one is turning, and it is good. good. Of course it is. Right down the middle. Good point. Lynch has only thrown four or 29 passes all season long. Or no, four passes. Demarcus Grady's actually thrown 29. And Lynch breaks free 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, near sideline, 10, 5, touchdown, 
Jordan Lynch. Untouched. Untouched. His second rushing touchdown of the season. I'll tell you what, I, I put my twos in. If if your your ones are doing nothing, so why not put your twos? Your twos can give up a your long run. Like you might as yeah. you might as well put some bodies in, get some look at it, get some evaluation going right now. Because it seems to me there's some green shirts that are supposedly your ones are tapping out. You can't once you touch it, it's a free reign for them to pick it up and if they fumble they get the ball back. Huh. Oh Inside gosh. fake. Here you know, comes this... Lynch again, and he's gone. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. 61. 61. Last time he touched the football, he went 81. This time, 61. And if you're not careful, this, this Northern in. Illinois club will go into the 70s. I mean, if there was a white flag to be thrown, now would be the time yeah. to pull it out of your pocket. Yeah, if you're UFC right now, you're tapping out. You just, I'm heading out. I mean, that's, it's like one play drives. That's a third one play drive Again. Of, of over 70 yards they've had, around 70 yards they've had in this game. Not touched. They may get a thought. He's not touched. That's 455 yards of total. Maybe right up the gut, fourth down and one for Eastern. Left to right they go. Gillette with a quarterback draw, and he is oh. turned away. Pushed backwards. Good penetration on the part of Northern Illinois. They came in, and Jordan Delegal finished well, they heard him you, off. They heard you call the play. I said around the end, and they went up the middle, and Northern obviously went to the Matt Shepard School of Play calling, realized they're I mean, you got to love your program yeah, to be out it. here today, don't you? Uh oh. Inside, give Cameron Bell. No one knows nope. yet. No, nope, it's not Cameron oh, Bell. It's quarter. Demarcus Grady. And Grady, the third string quarterback, will run it to the house. It's 61. Grand Rapids, 61 yards. So Jordan Lynch rushes 71 and 61 for a score. Demarcus Grady comes in and he sprints 61 for a touchdown. Marcus obviously doesn't want to watch. I'll go they play tomorrow night. Watch they ben Thayer just offset of the line of scrimmage to the left. Out of the shotgun, Alex Gillette brings a man in motion. Fakes it to Javante. It does give it to Javante Green. Slips the tackle. Oh, and then he's wrapped up at the 38-yard line. Coming up, making a solid tackle is Garrett Barnes, the senior from Walnut, Illinois, who last year had a season-best three tackles against Eastern Michigan. Play. Right to left, Gillette and the Eagles trailing 58 to three. Trey Hunter in motion, a stretch handoff right side. See, I'm not sure dragged down from behind again. They, yeah, no respect, right. Shep, for the boot. I watched that time the you're entire right. play. I, I kept an eye on Alan Baxter, the defensive end. He, they're angled in. They're not like an hour from Chicago. So what? I mean, that's like saying Ypsilanti's an hour from from Detroit. I think Gillette fumbled it. He did. And scooped up on the far sideline. And I think it's going to be Northern Illinois. Tracy Wilson, I think, came in and grabbed it, and he did. Gillette on the keeper. Yeah, we have an in injured Husky as well down on the field. Recovered by Luckily Wilson. for you, Rob, he's close to their sideline. So they Northern could just Illinois. roll him over if you wanted to. I think he's okay. They got trips to the right. High snap, quarterback draw. Uh -oh, Left touchdown. side, look out, splits some 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Demarcus Brady. You know, they can't run it. Jerry Kill, um, you can't run the keep. Last four times they've run it, four touchdowns, no one's touched them, and about 270 yards in four plays. They haven't touched the quarterback on the keep. I mean, come on, fellas. Earlier in the quarter. Two wide receivers to the right. Just Double tight it. end set for the Huskies. Takes a lot of time off the clock. Uh-oh. Sprinting. Uh-oh. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. <laughs> Sideline, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 is the end. They push him forward. Touchdown, Jasmine Hopkins. Hopkins on the carry. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. 70-plus. I wonder what the record is for how many 70-yard touchdown runs in a game. How long How many, was that one, partner? Uh, let me see. They were on the 22 or 25 they had to get to, Chef, was it? Or the 30 they were trying to get to. That had to be right at 7. They were trying to get to the 25. Was it so, the 25? Yeah, it was at the from the 27.